Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Hey there, welcome to episode two of the Sack and Stone team show. And today, Lane and I are at a property and we're going to simulate the first impression a buyer has when they get to a house when the agent is showing it. And that's what we call the impact of porch appeal. You've all heard about curb appeal, which is what all the agents push when they're taking a listing or telling their seller how they need to prepare their home. Curb appeal is important, but we'd like to show you why porch appeal is actually more important from the buyer's perspective. Here we go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of a simulation. Scott's gonna be the agent. He looks really nice in his tie. I'm very formal, I'm the buyer. He's gonna show me the house today. And I'm gonna take out my phone and I'm actually gonna time to see how long between us arriving by the front door and how long it takes to him to access the key. We have a super lock box here on the front door. And while we're timing it, I'm actually gonna look around and take note of some things that maybe a buyer might be taking notice of as well, just to showcase how long you're actually really standing by the front door and how much porch appeal really is important when and you're showcasing a home. So uh, I'll bust out my phone. Exactly. I'll open up the timer app right now. Perfect. I'm going to uh, go ahead and open up my EKey yeah. app. Yeah, he's going to open up his eKey app. Everything's done by Bluetooth. So this takes time. So I'm going to start the clock right now. So as he's opening up the eKey app, he needs to go access the lockbox. He's going to push up. The, ac the lockbox is going to turn on. You can do so right now if you want. Actually, let's go ahead and start the timer. Yeah, I, I started the timer. We're 10 seconds in. Let's go. Uh -oh. Welcome, Lane. <laughs> let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and access the key box now so we can show you this beautiful home. That's perfect. See, he rushed it a little bit because he knows I already started the timer. But it does take time, actually, to bust out your phone, to open up it's the app. It's asking for a wireless update to Lane, which it also does for security purposes. And we just got that done. I'm hitting my obtain key. I'm hitting my code. It's accessing the box right now. So he's accessing the box. We're still 35 seconds into it. At this point, everything looks really clean. Uh, everything's well landscaped. I'm actually taking notice of a camera above me, so I am being watched. I'm actually looking at the neighbor's home next to me to see how well that's maintained. Everything's really, uh, they have nice brick pavers here, and the furniture's really well staged. So I'm actually getting a really good front and funny, fuzzy uh, first impression. We're about a minute in and I've been standing in the same place right now. So again, when you have a buyer or a family or multiple buyers, okay, there we go. He there we go, Lane, we've got our key and so we're ready. We're at a minute and five. So I was standing in one spot for a minute and five seconds, taking into just a small little area here. Sometimes when you show a home, people don't even stand into one room for a minute and five. So there's really a much, there's a lot of emphasis and a really big importance to porch appeal. Absolutely, and to Lane's point, Lane's looking at some of the surroundings around him. Also, you'll often have a couple with you, and there's two people, and they're both looking at different things. One person might be looking externally, as Lane was doing. Other people might be looking a little close up and literally looking for dust and dirt on the mailbox. Is the porch light clean? Is the surrounding area around the door scuffed and dirty and all smudged? All of that can portend to what might be inside, because a first impression of a clean, well-kept, well-maintained home then gives the buyer an excitement to see more inside. If they become disappointed or disillusioned when they're at the front porch, we've got an uphill battle when they get inside. Exactly, because they might be getting the feeling if it's not clean and it's a little bit dirty, that maybe inside the home's the same way. We do not want to give off that first impression. So there, it's really important to have a really phenomenal porch appeal. And then there was one last thing that our homeowners tend to not think about so much because they're so used to coming in and out of the house on a daily basis through their garage, is how does the front door hardware actually work? We want the agent to have a seamless, flawless experience. When they go to put the key in the door, we want that door to just fly right open with ease. Oftentimes, I've been to houses where the locking mechanism is creaky and clunky, it's rusty, and there's nothing worse from a buyer's perspective to see the agent having to struggle to get inside the house. For more information on what you can do to maximize your exposure, to make sure that your home is showcased in the best possible manner, we're the Sack and Stone team. We have way more content coming out to you, and we hope that you tune in. Continue to tune in to the Sack and Stone team show. We are, as Lane says, we're so excited. We've got a list this long of all the great things we want to bring to you of value. We want you to comment, tell us what you like, what you'd like to see. And in closing, the holidays are only about four months around the corner, so we find this video could be very useful as well. For those of you that have no plans whatsoever to sell, but you might be entertaining guests, coming to your front porch that you may not have even seen for several months. So take a step outside, give your front porch a little bit of a critique and amp up that appeal. Thanks for watching. Bye. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text or email and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.
one, two, three. Welcome to the Sack and Stone Team Show, Volume Episode Two. Mike two testing. Mike two. Box. I'm gonna time him. We're gonna figure out how long it actually takes between approaching the porch and getting the key, and then we're gonna see what that time is like. Um, and then also, cut. I just what was... oh, and we have shit. a phone call. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so one thing to know, or, and all of the realtor lock boxes are now through Bluetooth on the phone. So Scott has his phone out. He's gonna access the app. Um, and before you do so, let me hit the start button as far as timing. You got, let's do, let's start over. Okay. Let's make this real. Okay. Go. Okay. Starting now. So Lane, welcome to one, two, three main street. Thank and you. while you take a look around the porch and everything, I'm going to go ahead and access the lockbox right now. As you sure. know, it's a seller controlled lockbox and it'll log our presence here today. As soon as I enter the code in the box. Okay. Sounds good. That took 13 seconds right there. He still has to pull up the app. Uh, you have to turn on the lockbox. So what you have to do by turning on the lockbox, you have to push underneath to access the Bluetooth. And right you know now, what? there's a problem. All things, a wireless 